Hey y'all! Tonight I am coming to you at midnight on July 22nd, having just decided to join the Reading Rush last night and making my Reading Rush TBR. I'm just very, very prepared, what can I say? Um, I also have a new camera, so you can see my mild panic in higher definition now, so isn't that wonderful? Um, I have kind of scrambled together this TBR from other people's TBR videos, some help from Emily from Emlex Books, and also a lot of searching on my library website in a panic. So I kind of shoved this together and also combined, well, did my best to combine some of the Book Junkie Trial books um, that I need to read so for the prompts I haven't completed yet to this TBR. Um, as y'all know, I wanted to do all 17 books of the Book Journey Trials, and then trying to smush together this seven book TBR in a week. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's just a little bit stressful. I don't know how well I'm going to do in either of these. I might fail spectacularly, but we are going to hope for the best. Also, the website was down all of yesterday, so, um, you know, I've been having a lot of fun with trying to uh, get an account and look at the prompts and stuff. So this is literally just a mishmash of other people's TBRs and my Book Journey Trials TBR. The first prompt is to read a book with purple on the cover, and for this, I'm, uh, almost succeeding. I have chosen to read China Rich Girlfriend by Kevin Kwan, which is the sequel to Crazy Rich Asians, and is, um, maybe more blue than purple, but, like, it totally counts, 100%. Teresa from Ivy Muse is doing this, so, mm, good enough for me. Um, and, uh... This was not on my Book Junkie Trials TBR, which is going to be kind of stressful, but um, I have it on audiobook and ebook from the library right now, so I'm going to hopefully get through that pretty quickly on audiobook. Um, Crazy Rich Asians uh, was not the best book. It was fine, but I was just most excited to read it because of how Chinese it was, and, like, the movie is even better. Like, <laughs> honestly, like, the book, eh, movie, amazing. Um, and, uh, I'm really, really excited to, uh, keep reading the series, because I know they agree with the sequel. Um, I think China Rich Girlfriend focuses on Astrid and Charlie, um, which, they're two characters in Crazy Rich Asians, but they're not the main characters of Crazy Rich Asians. That is what I'm hoping to read for purple on the cover that's not really not exactly purple. For read a book in the same spot, honestly any of them will work because I usually sit here in bed and just read a book for like three hours at a time, um, but I want to do seven books in one week because I'm a masochist and so I found out very excitedly today that The Prince and the Dressmaker is on ebook at my library. What? Um, so I have borrowed that and I'm very very excited to read it. I've heard a lot about it. I believe what it's about is that it is a prince who enjoys cross-dressing but like he doesn't like tell people that because it's taboo and then um he has a dressmaker who makes some dresses. That's, that's all I've gathered um, about it from watching other people talk about it. I'm very, very excited to read it. And uh, I'll probably, you know, sit in bed and read it. I honestly chose a graphic novel for this just because I saw a lot of other people were choosing graphic novels for this. And I was like, oh, it's a great idea. But, um, you know, like, any of the books could have worked for this, really. For reading a book that you meant to read last year, so many books that have worked for this, but I'm migrating from the Book Junkie Trials TBR. I'm using Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I've been meaning to read this for like five years, I think, so you know, it definitely counts. Um, and what I can gather is Fangirl is about a girl who's at university who like at one point uses fan fiction as like a creative writing submission, and they're like, they fail her because it's, it's not your world. Again, I've been doing this for five years. I have no idea what really it's about. I just know everyone says it's great. Um, I did not like Eleanor and Park, um, but I'm willing to give Rainbow Owl a second chance. Um, but, you know, Eleanor and Park was not good and racist. So, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I'm holding out judgment for this, but I am, I am iffy. We're reading an author's first book. I, again, from the Book Junkie Trials TBR, I am using Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. I had, I cannot stop talking about this book. I'm very, very excited to read it. Um, it is a gay new adult book about the Prince of Wales and the son of the first human president and their um, feud, becoming fake friendship, becoming real friendship, becoming secret romance, and I'm just very, very excited, okay? I'm very, very excited to read a fluffy romance. For reading a book with five words or more in the title, The Prince and the Dressmaker could count for this, um, but again, 
seven books and also book checking trials tbr i am going to try to read the count of monte cristo by alexander dumas or duma my boss at work corrected me and i was like all right fine fine my dude Alrighty, alrighty. Um, so I'm gonna try to read this chunky guy. Um, it used to be my favorite book of all time until Ch Taylor Jenkins Reid existed in my life. Um, and you know, I haven't read this book in like 10 years, so I'm going to reread it. Maybe it'll resubmit its position. Maybe it'll only further my thoughts that Daisy Jones and the Six is the greatest book of all time. The Count of Monte Cristo is about um, a young man named Edmund Dantes who is doing real well for himself. He is about to become captain of a ship, he has a great fiance, um, but you know, life is going real well for him and some people want those aspects of his life. They want to be captain of the ship, they want to marry his fiance, and so they sabotage him and it goes a lot worse for him than anyone was expecting. And this like thousand page book is about him going through what that sabotage did to him and then coming back and getting his revenge. For reading a book with a non-human main character, I'm going to be reading Angel Fall by Susan E. And this, I read this book when I was 13 for a Tumblr book club I started and I remember really, really liking it. Um, and I'm pretty sure Angel Fall, from what I recall, is like a post-apocalyptic world with like angels and archangels and humans and one of the main characters I believe is an angel or a fallen angel or something like that and so it counts. Um, anyway, I just remember really really enjoying it and enjoying the romance and so I'm very excited to reread it and then hopefully continue with the rest of the series. And finally, for reading a book to movie adaptation and then watching the adaptation, um, I could have used the Count of Monte Cristo for this, and also I could have just done Crazy Rich Asians for trying to Rich Girlfriend, and I wish I'd saved my John Green books for this because I could have just read, you know, The Fault in the Stars, watched the movie, bawled my eyes out. But um, I was talking to M, and I decided that I really, really, really wanted to watch Pride and Prejudice this week. So I'm going to try to read Pride and Prejudice again. Um, and uh, I'm very, very excited to do so because I do love this book and love the romance. I just don't think I'm going to finish it with all the other things going on. So we're going to hope for the best here, but I, I love this book, so I'm very, very excited to reread it. Those are the books I want to read during this week for the reading rush. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of my book Chunky Trials TBR, like Scythe by Neil Schusterman, which I am buddy reading with Honor from Slytherin Reader. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. Um, but that is what I'm hoping to read this week. And I'm going to be trying to do a vlog for this week. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm going to try. I hope you enjoy this video, and I will see you sometime. Goodbye.